Hey guys, and welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. When we last left off, we were continuing to explore the castle. We had uh, defeated Bilzebub in the last video, and a bloody good time was had, although not quite there, it would seem. We were taking a not insignificant amount of damage from a demon bastard. Don't worry, we shall put many of those to the sword before the night is out. Let me assure you. Anyway, let's explore the next area of this accursed place. Let's start by grabbing our resist dark. Oh, and a bag of money. Who doesn't like a bag of money that comes out of a lampshade? I mean, I can't actually remember the last time that happened in IRL, but hey, there's always a first time, right? Now I was doing some kind of badass combo move, which I still have no idea how I uh, actually managed to do that. Right. Okay. So, we should now be in. Excellent. Fighting these Jackabones. So, for the next few videos, or at least for this video, it's going to be running around and collecting items, but that's okay. We've got to get them all after all these jack-o-lantern guys are kind of annoying with their bloody projectiles of doom that's okay we have our sword friend who's really kind of helping us out not gonna lie Oof, save room already well don't mind if i do seem rude to pass up this opportunity now wouldn't it Anyway, with our vigor restored, let us go and dispense some justice. One sword swipe at a time. Yeah, I believe this way takes us to a teleporter, but sadly no loot. Teleporters always have these loading corridors because obviously it's got to load all the uh, other areas. That's fine. It's another area completely explored. Let's head on down. Now, we need to be careful down there because there is a Nova Skeleton. Nova Skeletons hurt, by the way. Like, they really hurt. I'm talking 150 points of damage. Pretty easily. They are nasty. And if you don't notice them, you can get double tapped by them as well. And, well, there's half your health gone. So, we just picked up the talisman. Oh, Swordy. I love you, Swordy. And that talisman is actually... Uh, it seems sort of interesting. Apparently, it blocks some damage sometimes, I believe is the description. Which, to be honest with you, I'm not exactly thrilled by the sound of that item. But who knows? Maybe one day it may come in useful. Today is not that day, though. Today, we're heading back to the main entrance. Now, this area is kind of spicy, not gonna lie. Now, those dragon riders, if we kill the flea men that are on top of them, uh, they will actually fight for us, which is really cool and confused me greatly. But it's kind of difficult just to take the flea men off. But I'm sure maybe we might see that at some point. Uh, now, there is, I'm sure there's a high potion around here somewhere. Maybe it's back this away. So let's use our amazing speed. Yeah, here we go. There we go. Just what the doctor ordered. Then we will use the magic of emulation to get ourselves over the other side again. Now this room, we should remember it. At the bottom, we used to have the mermen, of course. Now if we go through here, we'll find ourselves a pot roast. And you know, that's probably a good thing. Uh, let's go down here first. And go plunder this area. Evening, skelly bags, jack of bones. Now, these plants are horrendously evil and will cause significant damage to us. 
So we're gonna kind of hope that our sword friend actually, you know, brings the goods. He's not exactly doing us a solid here, is he? Yeah. Yeah, we really got hurt there. Hurt way more than I'd want to, if I'm being honest. Oh, you... yeah. Yeah, this is going poorly. This is going incredibly poorly, so we're just gonna nope the fuck out of here. Uh, you know, I love the holy water, but just having like a ranged option seems to be where it's at for now. So in here, we do have another delicious save area, which we are absolutely going to be taking advantage of because why it would be rude otherwise. Let's keep going, shall we? Now, down below, there should be some items for us. Well, at least one item. Anyway, the fire boomerang, which I mean, yay, I guess. It's another item that we can tick off the old list. Now, if we go through, not through there, where is it? Yes, we need to go uh, the corridor above us, which means going back through that delicious wall of uh, room full of death. Um. Oh, God, that stings. You know what? I'm not even going to bother. That is just nasty. And unfortunately, the game can barely handle rendering all these enemies. Which is curious. You would have thought that the PlayStation, two, uh, PlayStation 1, I should say, wouldn't have any kind of issues rendering all that stuff. But hey, what do I know, I guess? Anywho, back out to the long corridor. And let's go back. Hey, we did it. We killed the flea guy off him. Ooh, Terminus Sword, eh? Voss Estas. Terminus. Poisoned Executor's Sword. That sounds really cool, but alas... That is so far down the power level. It's not even funny. Oof. Okay. Didn't quite decap attack that guy. Now, these fire wargs, actually, if you give them a chance, really do hurt. So, we're going to want to dispatch those guys as quick as we can. And they are hiding Nova skeletons behind them as well. So, ooh, move it, move it, move it. They have a hell of a range on that attack. And I don't need to tell you. It's pretty nasty. Now, back where we started. I don't know if it's worth getting the cross. I haven't actually experimented with that much. Maybe it's a good weapon. Maybe it isn't. That is above my pay grade, I'm afraid. Now, make sure this whole area is completely explored and mapped out. That it is. Okay, not bad. Now we just need to go back through here. Taking as minimal damage as possible, idealistically. See that Nova skeleton? Hidden away. Are we actually generating a decent amount of XP? I'm gonna say probably not looking at that. But that's fine. Get the Nova. Oh, jeez. That was a rough exchange. But we came out on top. Barely. I say barely. We actually handily did that, in all fairness. Okay. So, now, above us, there is, I believe, a secret there. But, two, we have to do the trick again. Go through it one way like that. And one way as the pooch. Don't even know if we that counted, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, it did. Unless it was already open and I'm just being stupid. 
We may never know, folks. All right. No mermen here this time, though. Not that I'm actually particularly sad about that, in all fairness. Now. Uh, no. I like having a ranged attack. Certainly paying dividends for us right now. Right. What we got going on over this side. So where are we now? We are just off the beaten path. So let's keep going. Through another CD loading transition, apparently. Hey, back to the caves with this wonderful music. Now this place. Ooh, cave trolls. They almost look like uh, hunters, actually, which is fun. Got a new weapon? No idea if that's any good. At least I think that was a new weapon. Where be thee? I'm sure we got a new weapon. Got a new summon. Um... Maybe it was a weapon. What would that have been then? I know it began with N. Ah, there we go. Dwarven necklace, plus 15. Ah, I mean, that's a lot of defense. That actually gives us eight defense, but I think eight defense is... Ooh, sort of worthless, I'll be honest. Dark Octopus. Get out of here. Foul Demons. A $2,000 bag. I think that's the highest uh, amount of money that we've actually had so far. Anyway, if we keep going this way, we're going to find something really nice. Uh, not the killer fish. The killer fish is uh, definitely not nice. we want. And there it is. The Alucard shield. Proper one, not the fake one that we picked up earlier on in the castle. Not sure if there's any other goodies in here. Pretty sure there isn't, to be honest. Just fish. Killer fish, no less. Probably the least most uh, liked fish, actually. Certainly not my favourite, anyway. Now, is this technically exploring the map? It is. Excellent! Ooh, little octopus friend is back. So we're on 7653. 7653. You are absolutely not worth fighting. Oh, wait. I mean, kind of. Those guys, yeah, we can fight them. They do a little bit of XP. Little bit of XP for us. Which I guess we'll take. And we cannot transform more switch in this water which is interesting because it means that we can't 100% explore this unless we're doing something wrong which I don't think we are this is fleas respawn we'll take that two grand again you know what it's sort of fine I guess little bit frustrating yeah I guess we just can't explore that for whatever reason whatever yo whatever okay onwards and upwards now I know there 
there is... A secret around here somewhere. Is it? Ah. Wait. It's apparently there. But... I don't know why we're darting off in a different direction. Hmm. Very interesting. Well, I mean, the good news is there's nothing actually in there. But according to the map, there is a block there. Curious. Whatever. We're just going to keep exploring. Maybe we'll come back to it. Spoiler, we probably won't, not gonna lie. And this will take us back to the waterfall, of which there are several items. Toadstool, shiitake. I think that's it. Yeah, well, I mean, it's it from that side anyway. Grab the garnet. Kind of is a very interesting sort of decision to make. You re explore the castle twice. And it's not even like a cheap little trick to pad out the game time because the castle is really good and actually thought out quite nicely for just a throwaway rerun. Now, how, pray tell, would one go about exploring the top? Is there a way, I wonder, to stop the water? I know, that works. Sort of. Hmm. Unless we become mist. Of course. But I don't think that's going to help us that much, actually. Nope, nope, we're good, we're good, we're good. There we be. Aye. That's what we're talking about. Whoa, this is going to get... Oh, dear. However, I don't know how we're going to get through that. Unless there's just enough of a gap. No, there isn't. Ah, bastards. So how do we get through there, then? Maybe we've got a float up here. A little bit like that. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Is there another item that we need to perhaps... No, because we can't move either when we're in the water at all. Which is kind of interesting. So how would we, in that case, get round here? Hmm. Is it some kind of long jump maneuver? Oh, uh, we're getting some serious frame dippage. Maybe. Yep, that doesn't work. Yeah, this is very hard to do because the game's just lagging out. Okay, I might have to experiment with that one a little bit off camera, perhaps. Because there's definitely stuff there. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to have to do some research on that, I think. But anyway, we are on 20 minutes here, guys. So, I think I'm going to save it here. And when we come back, uh, hopefully I'll have worked out how to get through there. Till then, guys. Thanks for watching.